But uh, brother Mike Cullen, who uh, you know can't be here tonight because he's oh god, what, who, what is he doing? Slinging hash. He's singing hash. What? Slinging hash. Slinging hash. Right, singing hash. Well, he's probably slinging hash at some kind of concert. I would imagine he likes concerts. Anyway, but give it up. Yeah. I was Brother Mike's third choice to read this, and I only got to late this afternoon, so I looked through it once. I may be stumbling a little bit, but uh, I'm going to give this to Brother Mike, too. Do I want a tattoo? I don't have any tattoos. I do not want any tattoos. But what if I was in prison and I had to choose a side? Aryan race Nazis or big, strong black men? Could I get buried in a Jewish cemetery with a swastika tattoo? I don't think so. People get tattoos in places on their body, and then they end up purchasing special clothes to show off their tattoos. Not me. I once had a very good friend who dated a woman who was obsessed with tattoos. My friend would say, I think they're so fucking stupid. I mean, who fucking cares? Exactly. My sentiments. I get drunk one night. And I told my friends I was going to get a LeBron James head with an open mouth like he was making three pointers tattooed on my upper right arm here. I thought it was good fun. My friend, who knows everything, he says, that's a bad idea. He was right. Men in sports. Yeah. I have an ex-girlfriend who lost her mom, and she was very sad. Three months after losing her mom, she saw a butterfly, and she was positive that her mother had been reincarnated. I don't know how she ever come up with that one for sure, but anyhow, she goes out and she gets a butterfly tattoo on her shoulder. Her husband is very, very upset, and they, that she had her body marked up, so they wind up in marriage counseling. She gets the tattoo covered up, and then they wind up separating anyhow. She has the butterfly tattoo back on her back, and her mom lives on. Okay, so there's a gun to my head, and I have to get a tattoo. My wife? My son? I can hear my son saying when he's 16, Dad, that tattoo of me uh, when I was one years old, that's really fucking gay. <laughs> what about a favorite musician? Uh, Bob Dylan, John Lennon. Maybe Dylan in his Christian phase, just to, be, just to be fucking unique. You know, I'm sure nobody has a Bob Dylan in his Christian phase tattoo anywhere in the body except for some stupid fucking Christian. <laughs> Maybe I get a Jesus tattoo just for shits and giggles. There's a guy who drives a car in Brooklyn, a service car, and he's 61 years old and he's a non-practicing Jew with zero social skills and he has alopecia. He likes to tell me about his alopecia conferences. He attends them twice a year. I think they sit around and they say, where are we going to go to get drunk tonight? Or where should we be eating tonight? Or any good bands in town? I don't think they talk about alopecia. Because there's nothing to talk about except I have no fucking hair whatsoever. <laughs> anyway, this guy has a giant tattoo on his arm. It's dedicated to his late mother. It says, Edna, 1929-2003, surrounded by a bunch of flowers. It's a very elaborate tattoo. He misses his mother. He's very lonely. Maybe I could get a tattoo of my mother with a cartoon bubble coming out of her mouth. And in the cartoon bubble would be diarrhea. Because my mom had a bad case of verbal diarrhea. Or perhaps a tattoo of my father screaming at me with a cartoon bubble saying, Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Some people have marijuana leaves tattooed on them. I like marijuana. I'm not sure. I want a cop to be stopping me and say, hey, nice tattoo. Now after your pockets, wise guy. There's one thing that's been very special and close to me for the last 25 years. It soothes me, it relaxes me, and it takes away my pain. It's something that goes with me everywhere I go, and I never leave home without it. It turns a bad day into a good day. My balanoid hemorrhoid ointment. Balanoid. Gently yet thoroughly cleanses and soothes that anal or vaginal area. Keeping the bottle handy in every bathroom, I cannot think of anything more dear to me than my band meal. If I ever get a tattoo, it'll be a bottle of my precious band meal. 